Okay, let me start. Let us start with proper uh, proper uh, webinar. Uh, a webinar for today, which is called Supervisory Skills. I'm not sure what, what is your background, whether you're a supervisor or manager or wherever you are, or uh, a non-supervisor, but this is for you. This training is for you. Okay, I, I took this from the American Society for Training and Development. I actually attended this also in the US, in, in Denver. And uh, okay, uh, American Society for Training and Development um, and Associate for Talent Development is actually one. So they just changed it for talent development. Then also a bit of American Society of Mechanical Engineer, ACME. Okay, so let's start. Okay. Let's talk about the learning objectives first. The attendees will learn the qualities of supervisor. We'll be talking a lot about the qualities of supervisor. Okay, uh, there's so many qualities. You should be, you know, you should uh, take note of this, right? All the qualities of supervisor because you want to have all these qualities of a supervisor. And you, if you want to be successful as supervisor, then understand the eight modules of supervisory skills. We'll discuss it one by one, the module one, which is the vision central to leadership, the module two, which is competencies for new supervisors, and module three, okay, fundamentals of coaching, module four, coaching skills and practices. Hang on. Okay. Hang on, hang on. Okay, so uh, module two competencies for new supervisors. Module three, fundamentals of coaching. Module four, coaching skills and practices. Module five, fundamentals of delegation. Module six, labor law for new supervisors. So module seven, legal consideration for supervisor. And the, the last one is module eight, motivation. So this would be our webinar agenda for today. So take note of that, okay? So moving on, go to the next one. Okay, the question that I would ask you guys is what, who is a supervisor? So who really is a supervisor? Supervisor is like super vision slash vision, okay? It's looking after the teams, looking after the, the subordinates that are working under him. Okay. Okay, hang on. My other computer is not working well. So let me take a look. Hang on, please. Just for a, just for a minute. He said my, my laptop, other laptop is loaded. I am having a, a desktop. Then I'm having another laptop. To, for monitoring purposes. That's why I look at to monitor. Uh, that's why I was kind of moving my head and the laptop said this is overloaded. So, you know, trying to, okay. Okay. Okay, let me continue. Okay. So supervision, you know already what is super. Super is about, you know, you're doing excellence in whatever you do, okay? You're doing big things, big stuff. Vision is like, 
looking forward, looking, overseeing everyone, whether they, they are working good, they are, they are in compliance with the policy, everybody is in compliance with the, uh, say, uh, the standard operating procedures and all the methods of work, you know, overseeing all the function or uh, rather all the activities in the work in the wor workplace okay this is the job of supervisor okay someone who is appointed by the management to oversee and ensure the work at the operational level is done by the workers or staff according to the agreed plan schedules rules and procedures okay um the person will not be a supervisor unless he went through some he gained some experience he gained some knowledge and skills and was uh, assessed by the management in terms of personality in terms of his technical know-how in terms of his uh, ability to do the work the kind of work that the business has right the nature of business uh, he is very familiar with the the workflow process is familiar with the business uh, the products is being uh, produced, the the nature of the products, okay, the specifications, um, okay. So that is the kind of my, uh, supervisor that we have in the workplace. So he's he's got competency. He's a very competent person, okay. That's why uh, a supervisor should be a good leader. And everybody will follow him. See, whatever instruction he has for them, whatever work instruction or whatever plans that he wants everyone to follow, then he's good at it. Okay, that is a supervisor. So supervisors is actually a manager. He's managing the workplace, managing resources entrusted to him by the organization. So supervisor is the first line manager who manages the work activities, manages the operative uh, workers with certain limit authorities. When I talk about uh, certain limit of authorities, he's got budget in him, he's got revolving fund, maybe depending on the, uh, the policy of the company for supervisor, maybe he's got uh, 5,000 pesos as revolving fund. If he's got 10,000 pesos revolving fund, he can uh, buy things, stuff for the operation. Okay, like uh, miscellaneous, you know, some spare parts. Uh, you know, when it comes to emergency situation, he has the budget, he has the money, he has the cash to purchase some, some true PTCAS uh, systems and procedures. Okay then we'll reimburse it okay or uh, not reimbursed uh, okay ah uh, yeah reimbursed all right so that's when i said certain limit of authorities okay because not all the time you rely on the purchase order po Okay, when it comes to higher uh, amount, I'd, uh, it depends on the policy, the limit. Okay, then the PO will have to be uh, processed. Okay, he will, uh, the supervisor will prepare the uh, purchase requisitions, PR. Then the PR will be processed and will turn into a purchase order and then will be purchased. But it, this will take time. This procedure will take time. Maybe some parts or some some PO will take about one one month, maybe three weeks, or even one week. To the shortest time is one week to get these things uh, procured. It it will go through process. It will go to uh, approval process. It takes some time. Okay. Uh, it will it will go through the uh, bureaucracy of the organization okay so that's why uh, there is certain limit of authorities given to supervisor to purchase uh, uh, emergency 
because it will you know uh, the operation will be disrupted the business this will be disrupted and the management would not like that to happen so that's why there is always an exception in every rule there is always an exception so you just have to uh, justify the exception okay that because it's it is needed in the in the business you don't want disruption of the business so that's the job okay so he's a manager he's managing resources okay so what does it takes to become an effective supervisor okay supervisory functions is like manager like i said leading he's also leading he's a leader he's inspiring people inspiring the the uh, workers you know motivating them to work uh giving them the uh, willingness to work uh giving them training coaching them you no know, or uh, counseling giving counseling uh session organizing is organizing the work before you know the 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 manager will approve will review and approve uh what is whatever organizational that the the supervisors has implemented or maybe proposed to the manager manager will review and then approve it he will analyze and uh, yeah okay uh All right, 